Hey, what's up, guys? It's Banu here from Android.com, and this is the Xiaomi Redmi Note 7. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys 10 awesome tips for you to make the maximum out of your Redmi Note 7. If you guys are excited for that, go ahead and smash that like button and hit on that subscribe button if you're new. And let's get started with today's video. First off, let me show you how you can enable the gesture-based navigation system on the Redmi Note 7. As you can see, right now it is using the three key navigation that we are all familiar with on Android. But if you want the gesture-based navigation system, you need to go into settings. And from here, you need to go into full screen display. And from here, you can enable the full screen gestures. So if this is the first time you're using the uh, gestures, you can go ahead and hit on learn but i will just select this and show you guys the options in this so first off in order to go home in the gesture based navigation system you just need to swipe up like this and if you just swipe up and stop midway the multitasking tray will open up or if you want to go back let's say you're in uh, settings so you're somewhere here and you want to go back to the main settings area so in order to go back you can just swipe like this from either side of the screen and you will easily go back so that's about it for the gesture based navigation system but there are also other options so let's say if you want three key navigation but you don't want this flipped you can easily disable that and come back to the traditional layout or you can adjust what what applications will show up in full screen from here as well i actually prefer the gesture based navigation system so i will be uh, using that on my redmi note 7 in the gesture based navigation mode uh, there are some other options that show up here which you can go ahead and enable if you want such as this uh, top one is very useful especially when you're playing a game or watching a video it'll actually double check for the gestures so that you don't accidentally exit out of the game and also uh, you can enable this option to go back to your previous previous app uh, when you uh, swipe across the screen so uh, that's also a cool one and at the bottom it says all the gesture it shows all the gesture demos so like this uh, you can swipe uh, right in the upper part of the screen to uh, trigger the app uh, settings so just like this so that's pretty useful especially in apps like the play store where there is a, a side menu or if you want to switch an app you can do that by swiping across the screen the next tip is called quick ball so if i go into the settings and search for quick ball you can easily go ahead and turn on quick ball and if you guys can see there is a small indicator right over here and that is for quick ball so if you hit on that this will actually bring up a pie style uh, navigation mode so using this you can go home or if you want to open up the multitasking tray you can do that you can lock the, lock the screen take a screenshot or go back all by using this quick ball so this is available for you to make use of if you if you are used to the uh, assistive touch uh, on the iphone then definitely this could be something that you are interested in the next tip is a big one and it's about face unlock so if you guys watch my setup video of the redmi note 7 you guys might have noticed that i didn't actually show you the face unlock setup on that video the region that i selected is sri lanka and for the sri lankan region the face unlock option is actually not available but it is actually built into this device and you can easily enable that so in this step, let me show you how to do that. First off, you need to go into a region option and you need to go ahead and select your region as India. So as of right now, as, uh, as far as I'm aware, I think only the face on the face unlock option is only available in India. Uh, so you need to change your region to India and then you need to go into the lock screen and password setting. And here you will find a new option called add face data. So from this, if I just enable this, uh, it will allow me to actually go ahead and set up face unlock on the Redmi Note 7. So let me quickly put my face data. So it says added successfully. So now here uh, I can uh, unlock the device using the face data. And uh, 
allow screen unlock when screen lights up so that's also a cool thing uh, if you want but that will drain a lot of battery so I'm not gonna enable that so now if I lock the screen and open up just like that it unlocked using uh, face unlock so all my fingers are here so let to show you guys again just like that it unlocks using face unlock so that is how you can enable face unlock on your all new redmi note 7 thumbs up if you like that the next tip is about dual lap support that is built right into the redmi note 7 so under settings there is option for dual apps so for an example if you have two facebook accounts and if you want two instances of, uh, instances of facebook on your device you can easily do that on the redmi note 7 by using the dual apps function so uh, if you go ahead and turn it on for whatever application right now the only these applications are supported but if you install more applications uh, the support will be added for those as well so uh, for an example now i created a second instance of facebook so here we have the second instance of the facebook applications so this is actually the main instance of facebook and this is the mirrored version of facebook uh, apart from that if you actually go ahead and uh, install any other application let's say like whatsapp which is currently not installed on my device if i actually go ahead and install whatsapp onto my device the device will actually ask me if i want a dual instance of that application so that's pretty cool let me quickly show that to you guys right now As you can see this is the screen that shows up when the application has been scanned after installation and right here at the bottom next to the open button it has a dual apps option so from here i can enable dual apps for whatsapp as well and the icon has been added to the lock uh, to the home screen now so here i have one instance of whatsapp and the second instance of whatsapp so i can have two whatsapp accounts on my same device like two facebook uh, facebook accounts or two whatsapp accounts that's pretty cool in the next tip let me show you how you can just double tap your screen to unlock it so you need to go into display and under system there is an option called double tap screen to wake so if you actually enable this and if you just double tap on the lock screen the screen will easily open up that's pretty cool so uh, to show you guys that this doesn't actually work if i disable that option so as you guys can see even though i'm tapping right now nothing is actually happening but if i enable this uh, double tap option and go ahead and tap on the screen like that this comes up so this is uh, pretty easy for you to use if you want to quickly glance at a notification that came in so definitely i think it's a cool feature that you should enable on your device apart from that there is also rise to wake that you can enable so what that will do is basically say your device is sitting flat like this and if you just take the device to your hand see just like that the device automatically turned on the display and the face unlock was able to track me and automatically unlock the device so definitely these are two settings i think that you should enable on your device in the next tip let me show you how you can optimize the power on the redmi note 7 so under battery and performance and under power there is a battery usage optimizer that is built into the redmi note 7 so here this will actually is let's say you're not getting a great battery life on your device you can actually come here and see what is actually taking up so much of your battery on your device you can actually go into the power use and check um, app by app what is actually taking up all the resources on your device and also you can use uh, the uh, adaptive battery that is built into the redmi note 7 which will limit battery for apps that you don't often use so uh, apart from that if you once in a while you can it's a good idea to come here and optimize the battery usage and uh, it will actually um, help you guide you to uh, add more battery life onto your device like for an example here it's uh, it's suggesting me to turn off gps which will add 15 minutes of extra usage onto my device so let's say um, uh, at a time where I do I want to have great battery life I, but I don't have a charger with me this is a great thing to use so um, you can always come back and uh, like re-enable whatever you disabled as well later on 
so that's pretty cool and also there is a battery saver option so um, for an example for facebook you can uh, go ahead and restrict all type of uh, usage or you can go ahead and select no restrictions to manually configure each application as well so this is uh, great that this is right built right into the device by xiaomi next up let me show you second space so this is basically a privacy mechanism that is built into the redmi note 7 and it's absolutely risk free according to xiaomi so let me go ahead and turn on the second space so it says creating a second space so it's basically two spaces on one device so let me quickly go here and continue over here so uh, now it's giving me the option to switch between the spaces so here uh, i can just use a shortcut or i can use a password so i'll use a password over here and now let me quickly set the password first i have to confirm whatever password i have and for the second space i'm actually adding in a password like that and i can also make use of the fingerprint first i have to uh, set the first space password and now i can confirm this all right so the fingerprint has been set successfully and now this is our second space you can go into the second space option from here you can actually configure these settings if you want for your second space as well so the, consider this like a private personalized uh, space on your device right uh, where you can easily go back if you want so like for an example now i'm actually loading in to the uh, if i draw this password it will load up the second space or if i load up this password it will open up it should open up my first space so as you can see this is my first space and that's pretty cool uh, so that you can actually uh, simultaneously switch be switch between your spaces and uh, take the maximum out of your device and uh, no one really will know about your second space unless you actually show this to someone it's up to you what you do with this in the next tip let me show you how you can show up the memory status in the multitasking tray so as you can see right now we can see all the applications that are on but we can't really uh, get any indication about how much uh, ram is available on our device so that's where the memory uh, usage option will come in so in order to enable that you need to go into the home screen and recents and here there is an option called show memory status so if i enable that and the next time when i open up the multitasking tray up top it will show how much ram is available so uh, out of the 4 gb ram that is available on the redmi note 7 right now 2.1 gb of it is available at the moment so that's pretty cool for me to know every time let's say uh, i'm um, making the maximum out of this device and i have taken up all 4 gb i can easily go up and see if there is any um, ram left on my device before I actually uh, be before I'm actually concerned about the performance of my device. In the next tip, let me show you how you can add the internet speed over here as well as make some other fine tuning to the notification bar on the Redmi Note 7. So in order to do this, you need to go into the notifications and status, and here you can enable the connection speed right next to the time if you want, and also uh, you can adjust between two. Uh, battery indicator modes the graphical one as well as the percentage one so the percentage one will basically show a number whereas the graphical one won't really show a number but it will be graphical and also uh, there there is an option where uh, some of you guys actually asked me how we can actually adjust uh, the edit the notification toggles over here because on the redmi note 7 there is no clear indication for an edit button over here uh, actually the edit button is in the second screen over here so now if you want to adjust the order let's say if you want wi-fi first and uh, let's say you want the screenshot option next you can easily go ahead and adjust that and hit on done once you're done and just like this our new order is now set on the redmi note 7 pretty cool in the final tip let me show you something that you might actually not know about the redmi note 7 
and that is that the Redmi Note 7 actually has a notification LED right here at the bottom. So you so you can see this when you're charging the device or when a notification like a SMS or a SMS or WhatsApp message comes through, you can configure the notification icon over here. So um, by the way, uh, if you guys are wondering what cable this is, this actually has a USB-C port, micro USB and as well as a lightning and uh, no matter what device I'm using, I can make use of this. I have a video on this and I will have a link for this down below in the description as well as a link for this power bank as well. So this is a 20,000 milliamp hour power bank and I have a video on this as well. Definitely check them out. I'll have links down below in the description if you are interested. And also, um, uh, pro tip, uh, the Redmi Note 7 actually supports uh, Quick Charge 4. So the charger that comes inside the box doesn't really support Quick Charge 4 like I mentioned in my unboxing video. So definitely go ahead and pick up a fast charger so you can go ahead and charge your Redmi Note 7 using fast charging. So let me actually show you guys how that works right now. So I have a quick charge for compatible charge over here. So if I go ahead and plug it to the Redmi Note 7 like this, it will actually show that it's actually charging the device fast. Like, like you can see over here, it's saying charging fast. So um, you can make use of this uh, fast charging capabilities of the Redmi Note 7 if you use make use of a fast charger. I'll have links for some of the fast chargers available down below in the description. So definitely go ahead and check them out as well. Well guys, that's about it for this video. I hope you guys found it useful. If you did, definitely go ahead and smash that like button and hit on that subscribe button right now for more awesome tech videos just like this in the future. Definitely go ahead and check out my coverage of the Redmi Note 7 right here on Android Dollar. And follow me on social media, I'm at Android Dollar, all the links are given down below in the description. And stay tuned to AndroidDollar.com for all the latest from the tech world. Let me know if there are any other video suggestions featuring the Redmi Note 7. And until I see you guys in my next video, this is Banu, signing out.